If Facebook were around in the 1930s, it would have allowed Hitler to post 30 second ads on his solution to the Jewish problem. So here's a good standard and practice. Facebook, start fact-checking political ads before you run them. Today, around the world, demagogues appeal to our worst instincts. Conspiracy theories once confined to the fringe are going mainstream. Hate crimes are surging, as are murderous attacks on religious and ethnic minorities. All this hate and violence is being facilitated by a handful of internet companies that amount to the greatest propaganda machine in history. I believe that it's time for a fundamental rethink of social media and how it spreads hate, conspiracies and lies. Last month, however, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook delivered a major speech that, not surprisingly, warned against new laws and regulations on companies like his. Well, some of these arguments are simply, pardon my French, bull <laughs> Let's count the ways. First, Zuckerberg tried to portray this whole issue as choices around free expression. That is ludicrous. This is not about limiting anyone's free speech. This is about giving people, including some of the most reprehensible people on earth, the biggest platform in history to reach a third of the planet. Freedom of speech is not freedom of reach. Sadly, there will always be racists, misogynists, anti-Semites, and child abusers. But I think we can all agree that we should not be giving bigots and pedophiles a free platform to amplify their views and target their victims. Second, Mark Zuckerberg claimed that new limits on what's posted on social media would be to pull back on free expression. This is utter nonsense. We're not asking these companies to determine the boundaries of free speech across society. We just want them to be responsible on their platforms. Third, Mark Zuckerberg seemed to equate regulation of companies like his to the actions of the most repressive societies. Incredible. This from one of the six people who decide what information so much of the world sees. Here's an idea. Instead of letting the Silicon Six decide the fate of the world, let our elected representatives, voted for by the people of every democracy in the world, have at least some say. Fourth, Zuckerberg speaks of welcoming a diversity of ideas. And last year, he gave us an example. He said that he found posts denying the Holocaust deeply offensive, but he didn't think Facebook should take them down because I think there are things that different people get wrong. To quote Edward R. Murrow, one cannot accept that there are on every story two equal and logical sides to an argument. We have, unfortunately, millions of pieces of evidence for the Holocaust. It is an historical fact. And denying it is not some random opinion. Those who deny the Holocaust aim to encourage another one. Fifth, when discussing the difficulty of removing content, Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg asked, where do you draw the line? Yes, drawing the line can be difficult. But here's what he's really saying. Removing more of these lies and conspiracies is just too expensive. The truth is, these companies won't fundamentally change because their entire business model relies on generating more engagement and nothing generates more engagement than lies, fear and outrage. Finally, Zuckerberg said that social media companies should live up to their responsibilities, but he's totally silent about what should happen when they don't. By now, it's pretty clear they cannot be trusted to regulate themselves. As with the Industrial Revolution, it's time for regulation and legislation to curb the greed of these high-tech robber barons. In his speech, Zuckerberg said that one of his main goals is to uphold as wide a definition of freedom of expression as possible. It sounds good. Yet our freedoms are not only an end in themselves, they're also the means to another end. 
as you say here in the US, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But today, these rights are threatened by hate, conspiracies, and lies. The ultimate aim of society should be to make sure that people are not targeted, not harassed, and not murdered because of who they are, where they come from, who they love, or how they pray. If we make that our aim, if we prioritize truth over lies, tolerance over prejudice, empathy over indifference, and experts over ignoramuses, then maybe, just maybe, we can stop the greatest propaganda machine in history. We can save democracy. We can still have a place for free speech and free expression. And most importantly, my jokes will still work. Thank you very much.